Hello, third grade, and welcome to problem solving. We are on page 769, and we're going to look at estimating mass. Now, mass is how you measure the weight of something. Write out mass, and that is the measurement for weight. Pause the video if you need time to write that out. And let's go ahead and begin. It says, look at the pictures of the book in olive. The book and an olive. List four items that should be measured using kilograms and four items that should be measured using grams. I'll do three with you and you'll do one on the other. So a, a kilogram be the weight of a book. You can even use your book that you're holding. Think about some things that might weigh in kilograms. Well, first thing that comes to my head, head is maybe a cat might be measured in kilograms. Or a, let's see what else is around me that would be measured in kilograms. Well, I would probably be measured in kilograms because that's much larger. My weight could also measure in pounds. That is the standard use of measurement. This is the metric. Kilograms and grams is metric. And then maybe my computer or your iPad would be measured in kilograms. Your iPad might be a little bit smaller than mine, so it probably could. And then I want you to write one more thing that could be measured in kilograms. And then let's look at things that would be measured in grams. Well, some things I have around me. A pen could probably be measured in grams. The weight of the pen. I also have um, some chapstick. This says right here that it is 10 grams. The weight of this is 10 grams. So my chapstick. Or maybe my, um, I'm trying to think of what you might have around you too. Maybe a hair tie. A hair tie would be measured in grams. So I want you to come up with one more that could be measured in grams and one more that could be measured in kilograms. Then we'll move on to the next part of our activities for today.